Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. How's my best friend? Good. Lots of laughter, lots of joy, joy in the fellowship of our friendship and our friendship with the Lord. Like he's with us. You acknowledge that today. Like he's always with us, but today he just chose to reveal himself even more. He wanted us to know. Every time. So listeners out there, if you could see us, we say hello, welcome. We are so glad that you're here with us. Um, Like I said in a previous podcast, um, Michelle and I, we want you to be in this friendship with us Mm -hmm. because scripture says we are one in the body of Christ. We are one with him. And so this isn't like a, you know, this is me and my bestie and we're all exclusive here with us. No, no, no. Um, you that's listening. And we are so glad that you're here with us, having this conversation with us and meeting with God this morning. Um, if you could see us right now, Michelle, do you still have your halo on? Yes. I just so, have to scrunch down because it doesn't show up. <laughs> so anyway, um, on our screens, um, we have halos on and there's a little thing that you can do on zoom where you can put different, what are they called? Filters. Filters. You can put a little filter on. And so you can put like, you know, glasses on or all these different things. So today we have halos on. So anyway, um, it's just very humorous. I think Um, I just snorted. (laughs) I didn't hear you snort. I felt it. Oh, well. Okay. Snorting. (laughs) Snorting with God. Snorting with Jesus. So what I was sharing with Michelle before we hopped on um, was I was telling her, I was like, I woke up this morning sometime before 5 a.m. And as I was like kind of waking up a little bit, I thought, oh, I should stay in bed longer. Like I really need more sleep, honestly. And I was like, but I'm so excited to meet with Jesus. Like I get so excited in the morning to meet with God that I can't stay in bed. It's the craziest thing. Um, how is that for you, Michelle? Do you wake up feeling that same way too? Or oh yeah. Even if I'm tired, you know, and and sometimes it's in the middle of the night, it's that that call of like, will you come sit with me? Will you come talk with me? And I talk to him just like I'm talking to you. My answer is not always, yes, Lord, I'll, I'll be right there. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's like, hold on. Let me, let me get my bearings a little bit. I don't even think I'm awake enough to get to the living room. So it's like yeah. that honest conversation with him, just like when you would call or text yeah. me, which by the way, I think you texted me at like 507 or 508 of like, we need to have a pod. We're going to be on the podcast today, or it was the something about a bean. I don't know. <laughs> the timeline so, is fuzzy. I know. I mean, I don't know how fruitful this conversation will be for you today who's listening, but like I was making coffee this morning really early and I lost one, like I grind fresh coffee. So I have coffee beans that I put in the grinder. And so just one bean got away. And so I was like searching my counter, like, like relentlessly for this one little bean. And I'm like, why do I care about this one bean? And then I just like had this whole image and just started laughing hysterical of Michelle and I, I was like, okay, we're going to be on the podcast talking about let's spill the beans. Like what, what's the, you know, what's the bean that we're going to spill today? So yeah. What, what is the bean that we're going to spill today? Like really? (laughs) Okay. Now we're going to give you a behind the scenes of how our relationship works so she says this to me and I'm like oh yeah you know what we are gonna we are gonna talk about that bean because I was just in scripture in Luke 15 when he was talking about um the 99 you know leaving the 99 for the one and then the woman that lost you know had 10 coins and then turned on the lamp to find her one coin um and she called her friends to celebrate and rejoice that she found the coin so knew that was going to happen. Then of course it talked about the prodigal son. And so we just immediately, it was like, I've gone before you and I've gone before Linda with the bean. So Because literally I found the bean and then I texted her a picture of the bean. I'm like, what's going on? And then she's like, oh no, I was already in scripture all about that bean. And I'm like, really? Like Beans, spill the beans is an important place for us because we actually went to a location in Greenville, South Carolina, got our planners, 
gave our time to the Lord and we had the most incredible day at this place called Spill the Beans. So there's so many different connections. This is how personal the Lord is. You know, it's just so much fun. And we have like, when we get on here, we don't know what we're going to talk about. He's leading us. He's guiding us. Yes. Yes. This morning, um, the scripture that I was in was in Psalm 27, all of Psalm 27. Ooh, tell me more. Um, there's just so much there. Um, I'm going to read Psalm 27 four. One thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. And um, from that Psalm, it really is about, um, it kind of gives us an understanding of when God um, calls David um, a man after his heart. Um, because this is what he's saying. He says, the one thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold his beauty. The one thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord. The one thing that I've desired of the Lord, I think that it was interesting that that's one of the scriptures he had me meditating on this morning is because when I literally woke up this morning, my heart just couldn't wait. I could not wait to meet with the Lord. Like he is the one, he is the one thing that a desire in all of my life that I will just be in his presence with him. wonder what it's like for you that's listening. How are you seeking the Lord daily? How do you seek the Lord? Um, Like, you know, Michelle and I talk about different ways that we seek the Lord. I mean, we'll be driving down the road in our car, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Of course, you know, we wake up in the early morning to meet him in that secret place when it's dark outside. Um, But sometimes I'm just, you know, walking through a store, you know, and I'm just praying and and seeking him. Um, So what ways are you seeking the Lord? Michelle, what other ways do you seek the Lord? Um, I love to walk with him, uh, just like physically walk with him. Um, I love to sit in my living room, like you said, with a Sometimes I have coffee, sometimes I don't, but I like to grab the word. And a lot of times I'll just pause, whether I'm inside, outside, in the car. And again, it's reveal yourself to me. I know you're here, but I, I want to see you in ways that only you can reveal yourself. And I want to so know you that I could be anywhere in the world, anywhere on the map. And scripture will rise from my heart. And that is the doorway. Holy Spirit, that is the doorway. He points me to him. Again, because it's sometimes I can get wound up in worship or different things. And all those are good. But I just want it just like I'm talking to you. Just like I see you. I want to see him. And uh, that longing, like you said, is there. I, I miss him. Like if I, if I haven't talked to him, you know, and I've gone a period of time, I'm like, yeah, I just like what you're talking about. It's like that holy ache. Like I, I I miss him. I mean, I typically read scripture every day, but there are some days where I don't, there Mm -hmm. are times when I miss getting in the Bible, getting in the word. And that's whenever I get to this place where I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't even held my Bible. Like I love, this sounds kind of cheesy in a sense, but not. But I mean, I love holding my Bible. 
I love like the tangible word. Like I love that I can like put my hands on my Bible um, and it's everything to me. I, we share that in common. Yeah. I like to put my hands over the pages. Um, I, I like how the Bible feels. And I think it is that craving for the tangible, you know, and every time I touch the tangible, I'm like, oh, like you're really but, one day I'm going to see you face to face. Like it just gets me excited. But the mysteries that you find within the word and the guidance, like he reveals himself every time I get into the word. And it's like, it's like a treasure hunt almost. It is. It's like, it literally is. I'm like, what is he going to tell me this time? Like, what am I going to learn about him this time? What is he going to speak to my heart this time? Yeah. Like, how am I going to encounter him this time? I, I also, something, another thing that Michelle, that's hysterical, like, we kind of have like all kinds of Bibles all around us. <laughs> I gotta love Bibles. Like all different translations, yes. like hardback, softback to you and like all different everything. Um, so one thing that I highly recommend um, if you or someone out there that maybe you're, you kind of new to faith or you don't really even know kind of where to get started in reading scripture or how to read scripture, that kind of thing. Um, one thing that's really important is getting a translation of scripture that you're able to really understand. Um, yeah, you know, there's a lot of controversy out there, you know, like, oh, if it's only, if it's not King James version, then that's it. You can't read that. Right. That's kind of, I, I kind of can lean on that. It's a little religious to be there because we want to be able to like, God wants, he wants to be able to meet with you and communicate, you know, with you and you learn um, from him. Um, so anyway, um, I have a new King's J- new King James version translation. Um, I used to years ago, read the new international version. Um, I have a, the passion translation version. Um, I haven't read in a long time, the uh, message translation. Um, we have a, what's the, um, is it called CBC? What is the yellow Bible that we have? CSB. I think it, I'm just going to say Christian standard standard, no, CSB, version, but I don't yeah. know if that's actually true. Cause I don't have it in front of me right now. Um, oh yeah, but, I do. Hold on. I can tell you right now. Let's look. Yeah. Christian standard Bible. It's a CSB as in boy. CSB, CSB. Um, so there's that. Um, so if you're like, okay, well that's great, but I don't even know, um, which one to like order or get online. Um, there is an app on the Bible, um, on the Bible, there's an app that you can download, um, multiple apps. And, but I have Bible gateway.com app. Mm-hmm. And, um, I mean, there's also you version app that you can look at too. Um, the Bible gateway app, I can literally just go in and even put parallel side by side, different translations. That's what I love. Yes. And so Thanks. That's what I recommend, Um, you know, if you're listening to this and you're like, you know, where do I get started or whatever, go in and this way it's free and you can just go in and download and just start reading, you know, um, and just, you know, start reading, either read in the Psalms or, um, you know, start in the, you know, um, either in John or Matthew, you know, and just go and just read through some of that. Yeah. And you know, we have such confidence because we've experienced ourselves that, um, it was just like we said, ask God, ask God. Yeah, I mean, He's there, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's there to help you read the Word, and you can be straight up honest with Him. Like sometimes I'll get in pages with Him, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm stuck, God. Like these are just words on a page. Help them be more than words on the page. Help me even understand. Um, so he's there to help you. So too. Holy Spirit is our teacher. Yeah. And so I often, when I, I teach classes online and I just invite to you, um, Holy Spirit to teach us. And so when I open scripture, I just say, Holy Spirit, teach me, lead me. Yeah. And, um, 
just persevere until you'll, you'll get a breakthrough. And, you know, as you start reading the word, um, and God will just speak to you. So there's nothing better in the world to me than getting to commune and meet with the Lord in the Bible. Yeah. And the, um, I back to the bean, back to that bean, um, just to dance there just for a minute. Why did you search for that one bean? I mean, you could have no, left I, it there. You could have been like, oh, I'll sweep it up later or I'll do anything. But like you pursued that bean. Why? I pursued that bean. I have to say what was interesting about that. Cause you asked me that earlier and I'm like, I don't really know, but I think that it was my natural instinct. Mm -hmm. It was my natural instinct to find that lost bean. Um, you know, no bean left behind, <laughs> you know? Or my daughter, my daughter puts hair extensions in my hair. So I'm like always like talking about my hair and stuff. And I'm like, every hair, like every hair matters, Meg. Like every single hair is important. <sighs> so it's anyway, principle. So it's, and, and you know, like seriously, don't, miss, don't dismiss that. That's the heart of God, right? That one strand. He knows every strand on, of on hair head. on your head. Whether it's natural or fake, he knows it. <laughs> yes. And he cares. He does he, care. Yeah, he does care. And uh, when I was in that scripture this morning, not only was I like, oh, help me look for the one, recognize the one that, that maybe has wandered off. And then I was like, thank you for all the times that I've been the one that's wandered off and you came after me. Like, thank you for returning me. Thank you for carrying me on your shoulders. Thank you for pursuing me. Thank you for the friends and the people that have spoken into my life and not just for my salvation, but the return to the Lord, you know, that I can be a well, wandering sheep <laughs> day after day, Yeah, day after day, he's pursuing me. I mean, yeah. I, I don't live life perfectly. I wish I did, but I don't, you know, and so there's times where I just stumble and fall and I'm not perfect. And instead of beating myself up, um, which I do sometimes I do yeah, do that. Same. And yeah. then, um, then I'm gently reminded, I believe by Holy spirit, he's like, I love you unconditionally. I right. died for you. I died for you. I love you. You don't, you, you don't have to be perfect. You're not going to be perfect. You yes. know, right after that, right after the coins, right? The 10 coins and the, the lady looks for it. It's the story of the prodigal son or the amazing father, right? Because I get stuck in that space when the, when the son returns to the father and then the father recognizes him and he runs to him yes. and rejoices. And I just, I can imagine this giant hug and he's just, it's so much love. And it, like you said, like, he loves us. He knows what we're going through and he just longs for us to come to him. So today I want to encourage you. What do you need to ask God today? I feel like this is where we're going to land. Is there anything friend out there, even friend Michelle, like, I mean, is there anything that's weighing on you that you're feeling distressed about? condemned or shamed about not good enough about, um, and you need to seek God and ask him, ask him, sh ask him, Lord, show me how much you love me today. Because yeah, yeah. like, what yeah. do you need to ask God about today? Are you asking me or are you asking the listener? I don't know. I'm kind of Michelle. I'm so you're, I just want to see where is the Lord leading you? Oh, I just hit my knuckle on the table. I yeah. I'm asking the listener, but I'm asking both of us even as I'm okay. Um, is there anything that you're asking God for today that you're asking well, God? I, yeah, I can tell you that when I went, um, you know, when I was in those passages, I'm in a season of transition. You know, my sons are now adult sons, and you know, I am very aware that I'm stepping into a new season of life. 
and it can be a little bit scary because it's unknown. It can feel also pur purposeful, mm -hmm. you know, and he's been asking for that commitment again, very much on this podcast and beyond of like, do you, will you trust me with this? He, but he will reveal himself. So that's really, to be honest with you, where my heart space is, is like we said before we hopped on this call, I'm giving him my yes again. Like, Lord, let this be your voice that's heard. Yes, it's our voices right now, but his heart through our voices yes. and help my heart to do that. So good. How about you? So good. Um, I'm in kind of the same space that you are regarding transition. And there's a lot of transitioning happening. I'm just within our family. Um, my daughter, you know, uh, she moved out recently, which I'm so proud of her. And um, that's so exciting. Um, just her, you know, really in adulthood. Yes. Um, I have family members that have, you know, gotten, you know, diagnosis, you know, that, um, or, you know, it's challenging health diagnosis. Um, the Lord is asking me, you know, also to just really give him my full yes and everything regarding um, the podcast. Um, and then just being uh, also just due diligence and other things that he's called me to in this season of really just living a life of um, just integrity and wholeness um, and not making excuses on, you know, it's real easy to get tired, like physically tired and this kind of thing and not take care of yourself health wise. And, you know, um, so anyway, so there's just a lot regarding transition. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm seeking the Lord. But whenever I don't, do things perfectly, I tend to, again, kind of beat myself up about that, you know, and he's just like, you know, he's like, come to me, like, ask me what I really think about you, Linda, mm -hmm. you know, God, what do you really think about me? Like, who do you really say I am? Like, what, what are you thinking about me? And that's when I, you know, that's where everything kind of shifts for me being in that space. So, yeah. so anyway, I just want to encourage everyone today to whatever resonated with you in this conversation. Um, I want to encourage you to take a moment and ask God anything because his love covers everything. Take care. <laughs>